Hello, this video will go over an introduction about how to enter or edit a rate structure on OpenEI. So first, let's go to OpenEI.org. If you haven't already done so, you're going to have to sign up for a user account in the upper right hand corner. But I've already done so, so I'm going to log in. I'll enter my information and log into my account. Now, so what we want to do is a utility rate structure. So we're going to click on utilities at the top here. So you can look up the rates by browsing the rates by the zip code or by the utility name. What we want to do is create or edit a rate. So we click there. We'll wait for it to bring it up. And one of the companies in our area is Delmarva Power, so let's type, let's type that in. We want just Delmarva Power. And there's seven rates um, already in there for this utility company. So um, for an assignment, you can either create a new rate that's not in here, or just check that this rate is correct. So let's just click on the first one in the list. So there's a lot of information that you can put in. Um, to openei.org. Um, this has lots of different things. We have a fixed monthly charge, um, there's flat rate adjustments and, and whatnot, so there's a lot of stuff you can put in here. And then there's a description. So let's look um, at our demand charges. So um, it, what, what, what's going on is there's a different dollar per kilowatt or demand charge for rate period one which looks like it's June, July, August, and September, and rate period two, which is the rest of the year. So really, what all that means is that in the summer, you're going to get charged a higher demand charge because of the air conditioning usage on the grid. And what's nice about this, too, is if there's a time of use um, demand um, charge structure, you can see it below. But since it's the same, it's just monthly, um, then it's, it's all the same. And you can also see if there's reactive power charges here. Okay, so now let's look at the energy use charge structure. So there's a um, structure for rate period one, rate period two, rate period three, and rate period four. So it looks like rate period two is the highest dollar per kilowatt hour. So let's go look down um, here, and we can see the time of use structure here. So um, that this has a time of use structure that you can put in. And what's nice about OpenEI is that you can edit this when you go to edit your utility data. And that's about it. So there's lots of other options when you go ahead and um, edit this. So let's take a look at that, uh, all those options. So if we just hit the button edit with form and now we're waiting um, for it to come up. It takes a little while because it's got a big editor mode on here. Okay, so as you can see, we can edit all the things in our basic information. Let's go ahead to the demand. And we can edit our periods. We could edit um, this. You know, I just typed in a two to edit that. We don't we wanna we don't wanna do that right now. So we'll go back to one. We could put in if we are charged a uh, reactive power charge. And we can put some comments in as well. And then the same thing with energy. We can put in our rate structures here. Um, we can add more. We can um, do some um, editing with this. We can also select uh, many bubbles. And if we wanted to change that to a 5, say, we could do that. But again, I want to change it back to a 1. Um, so you just click and drag to select more than one so that then you can uh, edit very quickly. And again, there's comments. Um, and then you'd have to save the revision. Uh, we're not going to do that because I don't want to mess with this page, but that's what you would do. What's really nice about OpenEI is that it um, integrates right with um, the system advisor model. And that'll be a topic for another video. But um, you can easily calculate uh, what your charges are going to be if you have hourly utility data um, with System Advisor model and OpenEI. Thanks for watching.